Let's go ahead and take some deep breaths. We're gonna start off with some affirmations. Capricorn Moon, welcome to your reading. That's a lot of cards. The number 13 is significant. Collectively, I feel this way. For you as well, I'm gonna just start off with one card. If you don't mind, Capricorn Moon, welcome. We're gonna check in with your energy. I have a lot of good energy to use, okay? You're very grounded in your energy. What do we have for our Capricorn? What do we have for our Capricorns? Thanks. I embody perfect love. Other people are attracted to me as soul to soul. Okay. You're getting Nala's face. Okay. The sound of music that's coming up. The number 13 is coming up pretty heavily. Where are we emotionally for our Capricorn moons? Emotionally, we have the moon, elimination, gravitation, attraction. A lot of that energy is coming through. Where are we mentally for our Capricorn moons? I feel like this is going to be a quick read. My first Capricorn moon read. Five of wands. I'm just going with the flow here seeing where the energy takes me that's where you are mentally five of wands competitiveness okay think of yourself as infinite potential in times of heavy <clears throat> the Empress. I embody perfect love. Other people are attracted to me soul to soul. Finding meaning, finding purpose, even more meaning. Okay. Mentally, I feel like you may be getting a little distracted, Capricorn Moon. moon. This is what I'm getting here. Too much in the head sometimes. I'm getting you drop down to your heart chakra and let yourself speak from that place of vulnerability, embracing vulnerability. Where where are we physically here? Okay. The number three could be very significant for our Capricorn moons. Can we get into this energy, please? Thank you. Think I am infinite, infinite potential, the ace of cups. Ooh. Very certain, very mature, responsible, responsible accountability. That is where we are physically. This is where we want to be physically. Ace of Cups. So stability, stronger foundation, and even more, um, even more in fulfillment. Okay. Clarifying the five of wands, where we are, excuse me, where we are emotionally, the moon, okay. There's a lot here. Heavy, heavy emphasis on the moon. We have the, the five of pentacles, the queen of pentacles. You may have a Taurus around you. Empress, mother, nurturing, fertility, two of swords. You may have a baby together. You 
needing a lot of silence. We have the strength, 505 on the timestamp. Heavy emphasis on the number five as well. <clears throat> that may be something you're seeing, but I feel like there's a heavy significance with that number for you. So I'm gonna head back here. I embody perfect love. Other people are attracted to me soul to soul. Heavy emphasis on the strength. Keep that in mind. Keep that with you. Okay. There's, I feel like there's a lot of grieving here as well in this energy. I'm wanting to go in and being more in reflection than I am verbally. Five of Cups. Okay. I'm needing a lot of rest time is what I'm getting, is what I'm hearing here in King of Swords. Keeping track is what I'm getting. Making sense of it all is what I'm getting here. Capricorn Moon, take heed on this matter and this energy. I take a creative attitude to toward my own inner growth. Magician, bottom of the deck. Uh, deck. The universe is aware of my needs and I will wait and watch for a response. Heavy emphasis on word, wordly, wordly, word, wordly, wordly, worldly, worldly. Okay. <laughs> the magician, heavy emphasis on that too. Okay. Let's tap into um, where we are emotionally here. That is very important. Our creativity. Ooh. Our creativity. Our creative energy. Tapped into our creative energy when we are overwhelmed with emotions. The King of Cups. Heavy masculine energy. The color blue. I feel like that's becoming more of a theme here. <laughs> I remain calm in the face of stress. Okay. Okay. Holding on to somebody here who gives you so much of um, soft, gentle embrace, perfect love. Okay, King of Cups, masculine. A comfort, a nourishment. Okay, I embrace every day as a new world to be explored. I'm definitely getting a little bit of like depression here with this five of cups. There's, there has been a lot of grieving. There has been a lot of revelations and awakenings. Two of swords needing to make heavy, hard decisions that you really didn't, you probably was not willing to let go. Really having to fight for that too. There's a lot of justice coming through in this season as well. That could be an impact on your behavior and your attitude. It could also be an impact on where you are mentally, where and how it all comes down to in a spiral. And then this is like a help as well to you. And it has been a help, this masculine. I feel like physically this is where you want to be very comfortable comfortably 9 13 on the timestamp. that could be a significance ace of cups the empress stability and just being sta being st stable and where i want to be with somebody 929 on the timestamp. with somebody i embody perfect love I just seen the two of cups. That was the first. <laughs> um, heavy emphasis on the two of cups. I lost it.
I hope this is a big message for a few of you. This is a message that's coming through and I'm also just wanting to tap into the energy. So I appreciate you guys being here. All of my information will be down in the description box below, personals as well. I'm gonna just pull up some more cards before we wrap this up. I wish you guys good health, temperance, Be right next to you be by by you ace of swords thank you guys for this reading and thank you for the vibes i will see you in the next take care of yourselves love you